hi everyone back to you here with another video so in this one I want to show you how can you create uh, 2d meshing on uh, MATLAB okay so let's start now you know that uh, to do a lot of stuff a lot of applications you need to do some meshing now meshing is you have a surface uh, a 2d surface or actually sometimes it's a 3d body but for this one for this tutorial I'm gonna talk only about 2d meshing maybe I will do another video on the 3d meshing okay which is a volume meshing but for now we're talking about 2d which means that you have a surface a 2d surface and what you want to do is that sometimes you wanted to make some analysis over this uh, surface and you can't deal with it all in one all, all as a big uh, as a big surface but if you approximate the surface into smaller uh, parts we call this mesh if you call it uh, if you uh, uh, break it into small parts uh, you can then analyze each small part then sum all these parts to get a result about this uh, surface now this is used in in a lot of stuff uh, now the most famous one of course is like solving BDE uh, partial differential equations uh, trying to analyze the propagation of waves uh, maybe the temperature uh, something like that so this is what the famous application is about but a lot of other applications depends on it okay so here I want to show you in MATLAB how can I create this, this 2D mesh for uh, the first thing I want to say is that it is a triangular mesh which means that the smallest element is a triangle now this is very important because some meshes is a quadrilateral which means that it's a four point element but this is, is way better which is a three point element uh, it is more flexible with uh, all the shapes uh, and the different shapes of polygons uh, and stuff like that so it is much better actually in analysis and give you more accurate so it's a three point mesh okay small triangles um, when you add them up you have the same surface again okay so here this is the main function now which is create mesh but here I have two scripts which you use this function just to show you guys how to use it and of course you can get all the scripts along with the function which is the most important one the one with all the algorithm and the meshing this function create mesh and the examples and everything from the link in description so make sure to check out the link in description uh, you will get the code from there and please like and subscribe to my channel okay so this one meshing underscore main here is a script now you can see that there are some parameters which is accuracy and show plot okay so show plot is basically uh, either you want to see the meshes or not this is because sometimes blotting the mesh takes a lot of time and all you want to do is just to create it you don't need to see it so you want to save time so you can say no I don't want to show block if you want to do this you can say false and, and you will not see it okay this will save some time of course now true will make it see it for now so this is better now accuracy here is the most important parameter and this is the degree of accuracy for the mesh now this value goes from 0 to infinity and it can be any value from 0 to infinity but it cannot be negative and this value uh, the higher this value is the more accurate your meshing is and the smaller triangular elements you have okay now how this is connected this is a little bit uh, complex now this will take a lot of time to actually explain this more than the time of this tutorial but anyway it is connected somehow to the big to, to the biggest uh, side lens of the um, of the mesh and of course as the accuracy gets higher you have a smaller uh, uh, side lens but it is always proportional to the smallest side lens in your polygon so anyway uh, or in your geometry so it is it is somehow if you have an accuracy of degree 5 it will adapt itself automatically to the dimension and the length of your geometry okay so anyway so he, let's keep it simple goes from zero to infinity as you increase it you have higher higher accuracy now then how do I, I uh, uh, how do I uh, explain 
the, the geometry right how to 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 feed in matlab my geometry to do it it is actually your your input to the to the function here is an n by 2 matrix where the first column is the x position and the y column is the, the second column is the y position okay so let's uh, see it like this one let's say I, I have written here an example two examples actually so let's see yeah this is this is an example and here is another one so in both of them you can see that it is an n by 2 which is any number of points by 2 and the the first column here is the x axis and the second column is the y is the y uh, coordinates i'm sorry x coordinates and y coordinates and here you go again this is the x coordinates this is the y coordinates of the points making the curve okay so you have a closed curve you can see that this is it, it has to be closed so the first point is the last point this is important the first point is the last point because it is a closed curve okay and it is it shows you the, 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 the curve okay it's any curve any 2d curve so this gives you a lot of fl flexibility in it I am loading it here from a file so this example I loaded from a text file okay but if you wanna put it by hand if you wanna draw it if you wanna do whatever you want it's so easy I am here using the, the uh, import data which is taking the values for here from uh, the the text file but anyway this bound is n by 2 matrix that you give it to the function create mesh and that's it okay along with this you you give it accuracy and if whether you want to show plot or not okay and that's it what is the output the output is something called t t here is is a matrix which explain the meshing okay so let's run this code and then uh, i will explain to you t by example and what does it mean now the rest of the code here is just simply you give labels to and access and and that's all so it is not really important this is the main one here create mesh this is the one which does everything okay so let's run this and let's take the first example and here you go you can see it's very fast it took only 0.7 seconds that's it which you and the accuracy of 5 is not bad actually so anyway here you see the meshes here you see the, the 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 blue one is the input polygon this is a shape i i have um, given to matlab using this this uh, coordinates right and you can see the triangles making up this boundary and you can see that triangles is is when you add up all of them you have the surface okay now what is the output how can you see all these triangles now the output is this T again so let's open it here you can see T is basically an N by 6 matrix N is the number of triangles so you can see that T N is the number of triangles and by 6 because you have uh, 3 points in each triangle so the coordinates of the 3 points uh, making the triangle as X Y X Y X Y is given in in this in this uh, T matrix so again so you have in each row each row is a triangle so you have the number of rows is n which is the number of triangles now of course if you have high accuracy you have high number of triangles low accuracy is low number of triangles and so on okay and then in each row you have six values right the values are the x and y coordinates of the three points making the triangle so you have x and y x and y x and y that's it so this is the x coordinate and y coordinates of the first point this is the uh, in this triangle of course this is the x coordinate and y coordinate of the second point in this triangle and this is the x coordinate y coordinate of the third point in this triangle so you have the three points for this triangle and that's it you have n by 6 so simple so easy and uh, so easy to understand so easy to use so it is the best way to describe your meshes. Now this is so easy to understand, I guess. Um, okay, and if you wanna see the accuracy, you can see the lowest accuracy. Let's let's make it the lowest accuracy. Okay, and uh, which is zero. And let's take the second example, which is actually something like the F letter. So you can see that it is very low in accuracy, very coarse in the meshing. So you can see that it's we have. Uh, a small number of triangles now this is one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight triangles. So you can see eight by six in T, and so on. Now, of course, if we c if we make it bigger, let's make it like uh, ten. Okay, which is a lot more. It will take more time, of course, and you can see that it will have more triangles, of course. So you can see that this is very, very small meshing, very accurate, and you can see that it's like two thousand five hundred times six. Okay. Uh, so that's it now the final thing I want to show you guys is some timing analysis now this is another script but again I use the same function this is an important function this is the one you take you care about actually which is create mesh so I'm using it again but this time I am sweeping over the accuracy from 0 to 9 and I'm calculating the time with it so I'm doing something like time analysis so you can use this with any input uh, of the uh, any two, two, 2d geometry to see how your geometry acts with the accuracy and timing now basically all of them uh, tend to be uh, a little bit parabolic that uh, it, the time grow um, much more as you go in accuracy but not in a linear fashion but a more of parabolic fashion so let's see let's go with example two and it will take some time this time of course because it is trying each accuracy in a range from zero to nine stuff like that okay so he, and here you can see here is accuracy zero of course one two you can use this also to see what is the accuracy you want to use you can see that basically from six seven eight and nine you're not doing much in increasing your meshing you're just adding a lot of time because this is very very high accuracy probably you not need that much accuracy but anyway um, anyway this is maybe you, you want that much accuracy so but you can see it's, it's very good uh, meshing algorithm now uh, let's see the timing analysis so you can see the timing analysis and here you can see the time grows in a little bit parabolic fashion not really linear so more accuracy takes more and more time of course so one final analysis for example one two why not so let's take example one and see how it goes now any 2d shape is okay anything you can do any 2d shape just put the x and y coordinates as i show you in the file uh, for the the points making this 2d shape any 2d shape anything okay and it will be meshed uh, very good and you will have an output which is very easy to handle which is this t okay which has a number of triangles uh, and you have uh, six columns uh, uh, referring to the x and y coordinates of the three points making them the, the triangle elements okay so i guess that's it guys for this one again you will find uh, all these codes in the description please like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching